Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss a kind of an interesting topic that I have found on Amazon KDP. So we are currently on Amazon.com and I have searched for unofficial coloring book. So let's just go down and uh, let's just check out the list. Unofficial coloring book. So as you can see, unofficial coloring book has uh, Spider-Man, it has Prince. It has X Men and uh, what is this? Sacrantian, Sacrantian, and uh, next is what is this? I don't know if you're gonna Petronos and Thomas and Friends. This is basically some old timey cartoon or something. I don't know what it is. Augie and the Cockroaches. So the thing is that Fortnite. So the real here's the thing. All right. All these books that you are seeing here, they are not by the official owner of the copyright. So it's kind of interesting. They have got Marvel logo and everything. So today we're going to discuss how they basically do these books, how they are staying on Amazon and they are actually receiving reviews. So Amazon has already print a couple of them. So these are all self published. So let's just open a tab and let's just check why okay so this one i've already opened this one so let's check out this one so spider-man coloring book 40 artistic illustration for kids of all ages and official coloring book so they always write this unofficial coloring book what does this mean and i'm going to explain you all of this how they are basically staying on amazon and how they are basically creating product based on copyrighted stuff like we all know this is copyrighted it's a very famous brand marvel spider-man is their product so okay Let's look inside first. Let's see. Okay, so this is the front page. Next is this book belongs to. And by this you can see. Okay, this is basically self-published. So these, this is the page. These are the graphics. These are the graphics. Okay, so let's see. So you can see he has created a lot of Spider-Man listings, a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And uh, this guy actually have a name, Spider-Man Coloring Book. I mean, the author name is here, as he has put it, Spider-Man Coloring Book. Which is very weird, because a Spider-Man is definitely copyrighted, right? So, we, we are discussing this right now, so I can basically explain you how they are doing this, and if you should do this, or what kind of things that they take care of to actually complete this whole thing. Okay, so, hold up. Let's just check out some other ones, too. Let's check out this one. This one got like 1055 unofficial coloring book, fan of friends, fans of friends. So fans of friends as friends is this super popular, super popular show. It was a super popular show. It still is, but now it's over. So okay, let's just check out the pages, what they are doing with the pages. Okay, it's loading. Why is it loading? I'm so slow. Okay, one second. Let me just open this. Let's see. Illustrated by Valentin Ramon. So, Valentin Ramon, this guy has no connection with uh, Friends because Friends was this um, super popular show. Let's just check out if Friends is in the category where you can basically. Okay, this. Oh, it's spelling of the friends. Now, uh, let's see. 8.9. Now, Netflix has the ownership of this show. So, you cannot do that. As, at least, as we can see here, it is copyrighted. Which I will tell you how they are basically doing this because I have done a lot of research on this topic. So, okay. Let's check out their illustrations. Let's check out what they have done. Let's check out the graphics. Okay. So, this is a page. Hmm. Alright, so these are the pages basically and these are the things that they have done. Now let's just check out some other ones, X-Men, Secreton, Unofficial Secreton, Valentine Ramon. So this guy has created a lot of them, Coloring House is another. So when they are uploaded, 2020-2021, so it's relatively new, relatively new. So 
this particular keyword is uh, not very good to say the least because it's showing 25 so by our self-publishing titan extension standards this is not a very good keyword but as i know if you if you really can create these things like they already have a fan base so people will buy it let's just check out uh, fortnite let's see fortnite is just super popular we know fortnite everybody knows fortnite so let's just check out fortnite what they have done here fortnite perfect uh, christmas gift for kids and adults who love fortnite unofficial coloring book for encouraging creativity fortnite coloring book paperback april 16 2021 so it's very new Friends, this month so let's just check out what they've done 41 pages so it's not even that big page the book is just 41 pages so let's just check out what they have done so these are the these are the basic drawing pictures there so let's see this book belongs to really simple created with canva you can tell so these are the things okay this these are the characters players from fortnite whatever you want to call them so so whatever the case is like they have created a lot of unofficial books and all these things and now the question is how look at this the office color by number book so let's see because we know office is copyrighted this is a very popular show so relieve really stress so I don't know how they are creating stuff related to office but they, here you can't even you know you can't see where where it is it's, it's not even unofficial it's like they were for whatever reason they haven't written it here so whatever the case is let's just check out the unofficial coloring book just that's the only topic that for now I think one suspicious topic is sufficient for this one because for me it was very strange when I saw this for the very first time I was like, how are they uploading these images? So let's just go and let's. Okay, why? Why no? None of my pages are showing. One second. So it's loading. For some reason, none of my pages are showing. Uh, why? Okay, so whatever the case is, let's just read. How they basically do it okay so the technique they use and uh, I found it from lawstackexchange.com it's, it's this humongous website and really good too by the way so somebody asked how can an unofficial book avoid copyright issues unofficial so I was in bookstore today saw a coloring book called Tolkien's world so J.R.R. Tolkien Lord of the Rings super famous brand so how do they do that so somebody answered the question was answered more completely over on sci-fi.sc so let's so I basically okay so substantial transformative work so this was basically the defense of how they create these books so I basically checked out the link so if the, book, the link is loading okay okay Jesus Christ go away okay let's check out so how can these unlicensed book about middle earth can get published legally octopus book publishes a range of books that are tolkien and we checked out the book by the way we checked out these books so we checked out the books so, kind of like that so let's check out the answer although these books do seem fall somewhere in the crack between our outright infringement and fair use david day seems to be relying on the number of legal fig leaves to protect himself so let's just check out what kind of legal stuff they're using to basically protect themselves so the book prominently marked as being written by david day rather than jordan so they basically tell that that the book is not written by the official owner or copyright owner so for some reason my page is okay so let's just check out this one so you can see here unofficial book by coloring house coloring book coloring house author is coloring house so there is no confusion that it is an unofficial book first of all let's just so if you if you do that if you want to do that just write these things down like the first state clearly that this is an unofficial book then next is the book contains a disclaimer on the first page that the book is not 
Those are not licensed work, not directly from Tolkien. So whatever it is, Tolkien, if you want to use somebody else's, then do use somebody else's. But always write a disclaimer that this book is not licensed work. The book is not prepared, authorized, or licensed, and there is, and then you just take this license or endorsed by Jora or Tolkien as a state, nor by any publisher or distributor of the book, and you have to write this disclaimer. So the book contains a disclaimer the marketing verb of each book highlighting that their de derivative work not original. This work is unofficial and not authorized by Tolkien estate. So always remember that you have to write that these are not authorized. But the question is how is still like this it doesn't make sense right. So this was the next one. The book each contains perfect extensive describing transformative aspect. So you have to transform this thing. So what put i.e. what input the author has provided above and beyond simply quoting from the original author okay so you have to you have to make it transformative so ls is a composition and specifically commissioned and created uh, created art from some of the most talented fantasy artists of the past four decades it began an enormous investment so you have to basically write down everything that shows that okay this this book is unofficial and you have to transform it very well okay next is no one reading those could be any doubt that is not original at a token contains include the additional work not by token they also posits the argument that his work enhanced the value of tokens or rather than diminishing it so this is a very important part whatever you create you have to create with an intent of actually increasing the value and not doing not doing anything that decreases the brand value now okay so it is this is the basic line that the fathers were scared of the text text to them and they feel that anything that doesn't come from them so these are basically tolkien's lines so it's clearly telling that chris tolkien's personally wrote him an unfriendly letter you don't bad mouth someone if you tend to possibility rather success to sue them instead okay so the next point is why don't they so sue them anyway and okay so why don't they there is every possibility in fact every likelihood they will lose fairly in short order lose in fairly short order they would undoubtedly mount to robust fair use defense under two of the four elements which is considered determining if the item is copyright infringing that his book are substantially transformative now remember these two points do is the whatever you create the book or t-shirt or whatever you create it has to be substantially transformative it should be substantially transformative and that they are not harming the sales of the original work whatever original work is they should not harm their sales so there are some defense to the copyright law apparently and this is this is actually uh, some from what i know many lawyers are in this forum so at least he sounds like somebody who knows about these things so let's just read the whole thing in addition of being enormous waste of money and time and considerably providing the hundreds and hundreds of dollars free publicity of his book losing such a case could harm the estate's future and ability to fight against the infringement giving this age of work the facts of their rights haven't always been continuously asserted it is least possible that an underwhelming judgment might open floodgates of other derivative work in an apocalyptic worst case scenario the judge might even rule the elements of original copyright as no longer apply risk is probably just even worth to swear to fly okay so what they are basically saying is that they don't want to pay, file a case because whatever case, whatever outcome will be it will not be worth it for them because it's it's going to be costly so what they are basically doing is giving them free publicity all right now here's my review on this here's my conclusion whenever you use these tactics whenever you use someone else's work always remember that they have a right to do copyright or right? they can always copyright strike you they have that right it's their work so always have this thing in your mind and next is always keep two things in mind it has to be substantially transformative and it should not damage the original sales it should never damage the original sales so that's all these two points you have to keep in mind and remember that if you are using someone else's work there's a high possibility that you can get copyright strike because they can strike you for whatever all right and the fact that they are selling this on amazon now that thing is i don't know what to call them they are very gutsy to do this because amazon blocks like bans people fairly quick like oh look at this i sage i sage toy story and uh, all these things are important 
so bob the builder and uh, so these these are the basically two points that we have to remember transfer substantially transformative and should not harm the sales and i think uh, we we all have learned something from this and uh, i don't know if i'm going to use it because i have to think about it am i really willing to take my account on risk because it is risky like uh, account will be on risk so i don't know but uh, this is what i have found so this was another video from research corp and uh, yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment comment from if you have some experience with this stuff and feel free to point to some other video or other article where you have found something in regards to this because yes it is transformative and yes it is not damaging the sales but what's stopping them to copyright like copywriting some product when you actually have all the rights of this original rights of this it's not very difficult so i think we got the two points transformative and transformative aspects and not damaging the sales these two things there is it okay substantially transformative and not harming the sales okay so these are the two points which we should keep in mind and uh, that's all there is to it for this particular video so thanks for watching and uh, yeah thank you very much